If you amplified every detestable aspect of Strandberg from a gilded cage and made him into a caustic critic, then you would have Wen's side. At least Strandberg tries to be charming to people, but this guy, he complains about a waiter's aftershave ruining the restaurant's atmosphere. There is the most terribly acrid stench in the air. T tile cleaner or some such. Uh, are you wearing cologne? Well, well my girlfriend's a, a perfumier and, and she... Um... Stop it. Are you trying to kill me? Is this some sick joke? You know I am coming to visit your little establishment, and you decide, lovely, let me utterly cack all over it, is that it? I assure you, sir, I, I never thought I... I can barely breathe, you beast. I shall have to recalibrate my entire experiential baseline. But don't you think for one moment that your little trick will work? Nobody fools Wen Tsai. You shan't conceal this mediocre experience beneath the reek of tile cleaner. The chef in the kitchen despises him and wishes he'd choke on his tie. This is a place of creation and contemplation. Can't work with all manner of... of amateurs wandering the place. This is the food critic when size. Yeah, of course, and I'm his holiness. Now, get out of my kitchen, you hear me? I am Wen Sai. So thrilled to make your acquaintance. Jesus, Mr. Wen... Well, I'm not wearing my glasses today. Oh, that would certainly explain it. Only a blind man could perpetrate such a travesty. <laughs> Yo, I've heard about you. Now oh, I see what they mean. Words cannot describe how I feel about your kitchen. Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps you might care to experience my famous prawn soup? No! I shall not be bought like some cheap travel blogger. I have standards. And you, Chef Bernard, are an offense to them all. I shall return to my table and await your next assault upon my senses. That little shit. I hope he chokes on that little tie of his such a thing. And when constantly critiques the food without eating it. No, I don't actually taste the food. I experience it. Don't you understand? It's vulgar to eat. I see, sir, Mr. Wen. If I only wanted to taste the food, I might as well have ordered takeout. That way, I might have spared myself the tacky decor. Yes, sir. I mean, what is this, anyway? It looks like some horrid pastiche, some nasty little brothel. No, that would be an insult to nasty little brothels. Does that mean I, I should r remove what? the food? My god, man. Is your ineptitude complete? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wen. Oh, leave it. Believe me, if there was any way of judging the, and I use the term very lightly, merits of the cuisine without actually setting foot in this place, believe me, I would. Yes, sir, Mr. Wen. He's an extremely petty shell of a man who can get enraged really easily over slights people may not even be able to control. These clams are... I shan't say what they look like, but suffice to say, I'd expect to see such things in Bangkok. Filth! At least Gabriel Santos, as sadistic as he was towards people and his staff, is laughably evil by being a large ham parody of Gordon Ramsay. And even Santos wants nothing to do with this guy, saying the mere sight of him in his own restaurants could make him, in his own words, f***ing shit myself. Here, Wen Tsai has no redeeming qualities, making it all the more satisfying for the player to eliminate him. Target eliminated. The money counts. It's clear in listening to him for even a single minute that he is an insufferable bastard. Paying a lot of money to eat here. Let's step up. 